The moon. No, this isn't a lunar knockoff. The awakened moon is a pesky, parasitic, heavenly body. The horror began during the 1969 Apollo mission, when astronauts watched as the moon's surface tore open to reveal teeth. The moon literally woke up, rolling over, tearing their craft apart, and drifting toward Earth like a smiling wrecking ball. Warnings had been seen beforehand, including a man in New York preaching about the awakened ones and a boy sketching smiling planets who revealed his own lunar face. When it finally descended, it slammed into the ocean, unleashing waves that swallowed entire cities, all while grinning. The destruction wasn't the end. Its crash bled out a pink chemical called moon juice, which quickly infected Earth and began twisting life into the terrifying moonfected. It was later revealed this wasn't the first time, an earlier celestial being birthed this replacement moon with a face. Now, the current moon is fused to Earth itself, transforming every living thing into creatures that may one day grow into another progenitor. The planets. Just like the awakened moon, these sentient planets have unsettling, dumb smiling faces, only they are much bigger and much harder to deal with. They were either infected by the awakened moons, or replaced by the celestial hands, beings potentially working for friend industries. The planets were first spotted right after the moon collided with Earth, when Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus showed up hovering disturbingly close to our orbit. Scientists tried probing them, but every mission failed. Jupiter and Saturn proved they could spawn their own awakened moons when Callisto and Titan were spotted emerging straight out of their planet's mouths. The probes lost contact soon after, leaving Uranus as the planet nobody dared to approach. Later, Neptune joined the party, casually swallowing an entire starship while stalking the rest. The situation escalated when the tentacle attacked Neptune, only for the hand to snatch it away into a dimensional rift. Whether these planets are pawns, replacements, or predators themselves, one thing is clear, space didn't just expand, it got hungry, and Earth is sitting right on the menu. Moon Swarm The moon swarm is anything but sweet. It's a terrifying cluster of smaller awakened moons released by the tentacle. These orbs act like ink clouds from a squid, but this ink comes with teeth and hostile intent. The swarm was deployed to effectively block Stargu-6 during its pursuit, filling space with aggressive orbs that lash out at anything in range. Little is known about them beyond their pure aggression, but the implication is chillingly clear. If a single awakened moon can ruin Earth, a swarm of them ensures that no one, or nothing, makes it out alive. The Hand The Hand acts like Atlas's hand, a cosmic entity stretching from a portal in space to calmly grab entire planets as if they were toys. Its purpose is entirely unknown, it could be divine judgment, or simply friend industries flexing technology so advanced it appears supernatural. Either way, the sight of a hand the size of worlds reaching across the void makes both faith and science equally nervous. The first time it appeared, it scooped up Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus. Humanity initially cheered, believing the menace of the awakened planets had been erased. But their removal unbalanced the solar system, and Earth lost its shield. Asteroids began raining down, burning cities and tearing oceans. When the hand returned, it plucked Neptune separately, swallowing the last giant into its portal as another piece to its solar system project. To address the resulting asteroid threats, Friend Industries quickly unveiled the Pew Cannons, man-made weapons holding the line against cosmic punishment. The central question remains unanswered. Is the hand divine, or is it an advanced technology orchestrating everything for the benefit of Friend Industries? Humanity's fate rests on the answer. Friend Industries Friend Industries, frontline research initiative for Earth's new defense, was founded after the lunar impact, created when the world's remaining superpowers funneled resources into a single initiative for humanity's survival. Operating from the edge of the Umbra Zone, the 2,800 kilometers radius around the crash site, Friend quickly became the center of survival and recovery. In the 15 years that followed, Friend grew into the world's largest employer, with divisions ranging from weapons development and space programs to their successful repopulation program. Their propaganda beams with optimism, branding themselves as your best friend, while sweeping up every useful hand left on Earth. Almost all their creations, like bionic arms, laser arms, and the massive pew cannons used to vaporize asteroids, run on the monopolized moon juice, Element 75U. They even stabilized Earth's orbit, ending decades of catastrophic freezing, proving they control not just survival, but the actual sky above. However, a shadow stretches long behind their accomplishments. Friend monopolizes moon juice, hoards it, and conducts experiments on humans as raw material for progress. Their crown jewel, Project Friendgate, opens wormholes to distant space and dimensions, the kind of curiosity that ends civilizations. 
So, are they saviors or overlords? Their grip is absolute, and nothing smiles wider than a mask. The Cephalopodon Lunar Progenitor Meet the Cephalopodon Lunar Progenitor, or Patricia for short, a name given after a Stargu 6 pilot claimed it looked like his great aunt. This entity is less like a space squid and more like the womb of every nightmare with an orbit. Patricia is a class zero celestial entity, planet-sized with eight massive tentacles, and a central gaping hole that spits out awakened moons, moon swarms, and possibly even entire planets. Patricia's history with Earth is ancient. In 10,000 BC, it crushed the original moon and casually birthed a new awakened moon in its place, which would lie dormant for millennia. This replacement hung silently until 1969, when the Luna mission caught it waking up, revealing that Patricia's legacy wasn't gone, just waiting. If the moon could smile, it was because this monster put it there. Later revelations showed Patricia is not alone. Multiple progenitors have been spotted across the solar system, replacing moons around other planets just as it did with Earth. Each one carries the same gaping void, a hatchery for celestial parasites dressed as moons. Whether they are apex predators or cosmic engineers, the truth is simple. Every time you glance up at the night sky, you are probably staring at one of Patricia's children. The Moonfected the Moonfected are humans warped by the awakened moon's energy, transforming into Halloween face pie monsters. The mutation happens in stages, getting progressively worse. The change begins subtly in the face, with hollow eyes and a permanent, dumb, vacant grin. The victims lose themselves, stumbling like broken puppets before turning relentlessly aggressive, hunting down anything that still looks human. By the final stage, their bodies twist into tall, greenish-gray forms that never stop growing, stretching upward as if the moon is still pulling them. These creatures were first introduced with a boy who sketched smiling planets before turning to reveal one of his own. They reside almost everywhere, especially near the Umbra Zone. Their intelligence is gone, only hunger and hostility remain. The awakened moon didn't just destroy Earth, it rewrote it. What begins with a face quickly becomes an army, and what began as humanity ends as towering husks with no end in sight. The moon isn't colonizing humanity, it's weaponizing it. Giant Moonfected The giant Moonfected is a humongous moon zombie that possesses the same face and height as the gingerbread giant. Classified as a giant form of the infected, it is believed to be the source of the quakes that shake the Umbra Zone Wall and the Friend Industries research area. Its massive presence alone is enough to spread panic and proves the lunar infection can scale far beyond human limits. The Umbror clashed with it, and the creature was responsible for wrecking a bridge, slaughtering those trapped on it, and possibly breaching a secure research outpost. Unlike regular Moonfected, this giant form acts like a walking disaster, ensuring the awakened moon keeps humanity from having any sweet dreams.